Hello, this is uh, Ashraf Lighty. Um, what is this? this? Oh, Ukraine. Okay. Hello, this is Ashraf Lighty, and welcome to this uh, new edition of the Ethereum uh, analysis. Uh, I'm going to focus here on the indices. This looks like they're down here. Um, on the red so hopefully we're going to get that Dow trade in place uh this is a very important thing so this is the smp i'm really going to explain what happened here i want you to pay attention to this which is basically the advancers and the decliners and i look at it on an intraday basis for the new york composite which is around 1900 or 1600 shares not the not only for the smp 500 or the Dow, but the new york composite this is important i'm going to talk about this and we're also going to talk about this which was the basis for going short Dow, which is basically the vix the chart that i put for the premium uh uh, basically, this is the VIX 55 DMA, uh, our side is, is, is working. And then we have the DAX, which seems to be falling below the trend line support. Just one thing of house, housekeeping, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, the, you know, the internet has been on and off slow and fast. So sometimes it takes a while for me to post these videos. So uh, the jobless claims is in one hour and a half and um, from now, okay? And uh, you may get this uh, before or after, but hopefully you'll get it before. But What's important is that the jobless claims in the United States is going to be the fifth week after the, the, the lockdown and after the virus. And it's expected to, so there were like 17 million. 19 million so we could see probably 22 over 22 million jobless which is a big deal uh that's one thing two thing um for the subscribers um so what i've started to do this is uh i started to post a whatsapp group for the clients in arabic who have who are subscribed for 12 months or six months and uh, i will explain what it is and why i'm doing it for the 12 months or the six months um Basically, it's it's a group where basically I say, listen, even though we are short Dow at 23,100 and it went up to 23,5, 23, uh, So uh, people ask me a lot, listen, I have a short trade, but I also have a long trade. Where do I get out of the long trade? Or basically I told them, listen, um, you can still go short Dow, but go long DAX. So yesterday I told them to go long DAX at 10,4,10, at 10,4,10 and to get out around 10,4,90, but I had to 10,4,70 and then close it and stay with the Dow. Other people, or, or then I'll say, well, if you don't want to use the same margin, uh, then if you're outside the U.S., you can buy and sell, and you can basically go go long, uh, go short Dow, stay short Dow, go long, and then I'll tell you when to get out. So, uh, so basically, or things um, I tell people things that I'm doing myself. So basically, I tell them, uh, look, um, yes, I know the the premium says I'm long euro, I'm long, uh, you know, I'm short dollar yen, but here is a trade that I'm doing. It's a short, quick trade. Uh, this is what I'm gonna get out. I got out, and so on and so forth. And and uh, so I'm doing this. So it's more of a high frequency uh, uh, verbal signals and sometimes informative signals i.e. signals like what I'm doing or so, or some sort of general advice okay uh, about uh, about trades so uh, that's one why am I doing it for only the six months and the 12 months because these people who basically who, who trust in me and who believe in me and who believe in the premium insights to want to pay ahead of time or in advance then I will give them a service an extra service that's number one number two is that we don't want to do it for the people who are one month because a lot of people who do one month uh, they don't have a lot of of, a lot of people who do month to month they don't have a lot of dedication or they a lot of people cancel after th three weeks or two weeks when they don't like a trade and I don't have time to really to to stay on top on and off of the of the people uh, to see who got out and who is no longer a subscriber and who um, you know and who should not and who should be getting the SMS so I hope this is this is quite a fair assessment so again uh, so it's for people who have subscribed for 12 months or six months uh, Okay, um, and basically, so this is the situation, and here is what I want to show. I want to talk about, so I said, so this for the day, so I'm going to show you, this is the daily, so for the day, the advancers minus the decliners in the New York comp Composite, you can look it up what's in New York Composite, and I do it against the S&P. So basically, in here, yesterday, the candle was dark, but don't worry about the color of the candle. Right now, just look that there were 759 advancers over uh, decliners okay so that's a positive and that's and that helped why the stock why the why the s p went up and the dow and everything went up but what it is because it's a dark candle it opened there were you see the number on the right here it was one one thousand six hundred and thirty and thirty nine net advancers net because advancers minus minus decliners. So the number was one one thousand six hundred and thirty nine at the beginning and then it went all the way down towards seven hundred and fifty 
Okay, so that's over. It 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 more than halved. So yes, it was positive, but it ended it ended still positive, but much much lower, fifty percent lower. And that shows that basically there has been a weak assistance, a weak breadth in the market in this rally. But if I go in and I go into the three hour or let's say the two hour, and I see well how. How was the development of this then i will go in and i'll say well during the session of yesterday the cash session because this is only for the cash the cash market still hasn't opened at 9 30 but this is the futures for 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 the smp and it shows that when you have a jump in the day before so yesterday was wednesday and to and to, and the day before is tuesday so tuesday we pushed we were we were negative minus 1500 but we ended slightly higher and when we ended slightly higher the market went up but now but now as the market went up look at this as the decliners as the net advances during the session de uh, uh, were sh were shrinking as they shrank the market started to push a little bit higher but then it got this candle and then it tried to push higher but it failed the high okay and now it is failing so this is these are really the uh, the intraday internals here of, of what's going on all right and this is the chart that i put for the for the premium uh behind the the dow and basically for the vix okay it's self-explanatory um okay and you look you can see that the vix here is also improving and uh, you see uh, there's a low a higher low a higher low and the VIX here is really moving uh, pushing higher and that's important and then we have also the DAX which I was looking at and now it's really falling below the trend line but talking about the trend line if you look at either the Dow or the S&P you will see that they're both falling below a trend line support and that's very important okay you see here is the Dow and then you can look at the S&P daily and you'll see what happened it's also falling below this trend line here and now it is going back towards the 50 percent so that's basically what we are talking about um, yeah uh, the euro is falling across the board and we're close to the stop because basically there was talks that the that there are that the ECB is looking into buying junk bonds and expanding PE but uh, this is very good because our a long gold trade is 16 uh 1650 1660 and we are making money in it uh okay then you'll see here basically So we're putting 107.30. If you need to lower it towards 107, you probably need to euro dollar and dollar yen. We're still making 100 points here at 108.60 short. Uh, sterling, we're not looking into doing anything. This is coming back down here. It was making money. It's coming back down here towards breaking even. Gold is the one that we bought 16.90 and now we are 17.30. And the Dow we sold at 23.120. Now we're more. We are around 123.100. So it's basically this is, and then we have also uh, Bitcoin, which is really something you should consider 6300. And I really think you should do it because there is the May halving in Bitcoin, which is a big deal. Uh, but there's a few other things that you need to talk about, which is basically the. Uh, yeah, where is Bitcoin here? XBT 7000. Okay. Um, and this is the general picture picture here for indices. Okay, so uh, the the dollar is starting to push lower here against the Chinese one. The Chi the Chinese are one of the biggest biggers, uh, the biggest winners of uh, falling oil because they're the biggest importers. Uh, dollar is starting to push higher here above one hundred. Dollar is still strong, and uh, let's just look at the euro. And this needs to close above this this low here, okay? 107.70, 107.80. And if it does close, I'm afraid that you may have to retest this around 107.20. So how do you hedge against that? So, uh, well, you can basically, what you can look into, um, you if the, well, dollar yen may push slightly higher, but you can probably still end up shorting dollar yen. Okay, and that's one of the things that you can do. And uh, 
and sterling dollar does tend to push higher when the stock market here is falling so this is very very interesting so because because you are short you are long euro sterling and you and euro sterling euro sterling okay, not sterling euro sterling goes up when stocks go down so if a stocks if euro sterling is falling then you may want to buy sterling dollar uh, because of what's happening with the euro and basically the situation. Thank you very much. And if you have any other questions, just let me know whether the WhatsApp group or any other thing, don't forget to email me. Thank you and all the best.